This is the horizontal scan demonstration of the interphase unit. And as in the vertical scan one you may have already looked at, we're uh, syncing up with our topside view of entering Kingston Harbor in Kingston Harbor, Washington. And as we mentioned in the vertical scan, we chose Kingston because on the particular day we did this, there was not a lot of stuff floating in the water. We get a lot of stuff floating in the water up here, kelp, things of that sort. Uh, the tide was slack. And one of the nice things about Kingston as an exhibit is there's so many interesting things to see. Uh, a lot of the things, uh, you know, mud flats, breakwater, when we get into the marina itself, all the docks and uh, boats that could kind of simulate obstacles you might run into in other circumstances, kind of pretend they're rocks actually. But the main reason we chose is because uh, it is such a clear setting and it's so easy to see everything that's going on. But anyway, the most important thing to realize about horizontal scan mode is that the beam is always uh, shooting down at about a 10 degree angle from the surface. So if you're in shallow enough water looking out far enough forward, you're always going to have red in front of you. And unless that red is getting closer, uh, you just don't worry about it. So right now, what we're seeing is we're seeing the beginning of the mud flats as we approach them. And off to the right, you're seeing, there you go, that's the breakwater. So we're slowly motoring forward here. And the breakwater is getting obviously much more prominent as are the mud flats. And because the mud flats aren't completely even, you get some of that fluctuation that you see there. Now, you see appearing the main part of the mud flats. The really nasty stuff, the really shallow stuff that would really ruin your entire day. And um, pretty soon we're going to be turning here into the main harbor at Kingston. Now we're just about beyond the reach of the beam as far as the breakwater. So you're basically seeing now just almost entirely mud flat. And hopefully we're going to be turning here pretty soon. Now off to the right there, you're seeing uh, some of the more open water. Okay, so now we're turning. And as we turn, the beam starts to see, you know, more of the open channel that's available to us. Off to the right there, you're seeing just a little bit of the breakwater. Good, we're real close to it now as we turn. But now we've got open water. And we're heading into the marina at Kingston. And off to the right there, you see a little bit of residual as far as the breakwater, but not a lot. Now you're seeing some echoes coming back from the docks that are ahead. Now that big thing there, a little bit off to the left, that's actually that big aluminum boat that you see approaching. And aluminum boats, particularly deep-keeled aluminum boats, send off really big echoes. But so would rocks, frankly, if that was a rock right under the surface, you know, in the fog or so whatever. Now, on both sides, you're starting to see um, echoes, of course, from the docks and from the boats that are at those docks. But the channel is pretty clearly marked. You can see where you need to be going. And this would be, you know, if you're going through a very narrow channel into a harbor and it was dark or foggy, I mean, this is what you'd be navigating with. So now, you know, you just got an abundance of targets, but the channel is pretty darn clear, pretty darn clear. A little bit of a dog leg in this marina, which is why, you know, you're seeing some things right in front of you there. And, of course, the docks and the boats are pretty darn clear here as far as what's going on. Now we're going to be turning pretty soon. And just in a second, you'll see the fuel dock appear in the scan. Yeah, so there's the fuel dock. But now, uh, as we keep turning, you're going to see that. And that's that big wall that you saw in the vertical scan. And then we're about, well, probably about 200 feet away from it now. Getting a lot closer. Actually, more like 150 feet now that I look at it. And um, as you can see, it's quite distinct. <laughs> it's definitely not something you would run into. So if you're out cruising and you see a large, huge, large red object approaching you, the best thing I would suggest would be to stop, slow down, or my personal favorite, turn around, which um, since this is my boat we're testing, I hope we're going to do soon. Anyway, uh, hopefully we're going to turn here in a second, and you will see the, okay, now we're turning, 
and the aspect is changing because the beam is changing and of course the or beam angle is changing and the boat's position is changing. And off to the right you see some open water opening up and you know that's where we want to go. So the trick on these interphase units is just to use it because the more you use it the better you'll get and the more invaluable it'll become for you. So this was Kingston on horizontal scan.